Hey y'all, it's Peyton Ward with Ward Realty Services. I am here with Scott, the owner of 1816 in Gordon and the new pizza place, Fat Dough. Um, we are going to head over there in a little bit and show you guys around and kind of talk to you about the new restaurant and all the exciting things coming up there. But first I wanted to start here at 1816 where it all started and let you guys get to know Scott a little bit, kind of what got him into the restaurant industry. Well, hi everybody. Uh, well, when I was uh, younger, I didn't really excel in school too much. Uh, you know, I was more of a hands-on kind yes. of person and I, I got in trouble for two things growing <laughs> up, uh, fire and knives. Oh. So, I, <laughs> so I just kind of fit, I fell into the industry and uh, I felt this uh, drive, you know, I, I didn't know at the time, uh, you know, what my purpose was. Uh, so I just, you know, fell into cooking and just mm -hmm. kind of naturally good at it and just kept going with it. Uh, I didn't know it would lead me here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I did have an accident uh, in Virginia, uh, where I'm from, North Virginia, and it put me in a wheelchair for about a year. And, uh, and uh, so I couldn't really work in the kitchen, so I had to figure out something that, uh, you know, some, something to entertain my time and, uh, and, and change of environment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, ch you can change an environment when you're in, living in addiction, but yes. you know, it doesn't really uh, change your addiction and your problems. But I came here and uh, you know I felt a strong pull to here at Gordon and I fell in love with the place. And uh, that's where I met my wife and that's uh, where I met, you know, God and and, and got saved and so you know and uh, where I knew my calling was to invest into this town and to invest into the people and and share uh, what God put into my life and uh, you know how to uh, work in the kitchen, how to, to teach local people in this community about how to do it. Uh, when I first opened, I wasn't saved and a lot of the people I hired weren't from in this town. Uh, then as time grew and I got saved, I, I started working more with the, the ministries and people in the local community uh, as far as employment and teaching uh, people how to cook. And I mean, I've seen a lot more uh, um, Joy in that, and, and then I did it. Uh, you know, working along people who do it. Yes, doing, absolutely. You know. I think that is so amazing. This place, I mean, I've been here multiple times. I'm a big fan. Um, the food's amazing. It's something definitely very unique uh, compared to some of the, you know, chain restaurants around here. Yeah. Um, love that it's locally owned. Let's talk about some of the history oh. here and where you come up with the name. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I wanted to. I always want to make sure that the community feels like they're involved with the place too. So when we, I was thinking about what would have been perfect here is the history. I mean, uh, it's kind of forgotten about sometimes that, I, I mean, the, the downtown is you know, the first state capital. So, yes. you know, uh, we wanted to really uh, drive that point forward and, mm -hmm. and, and pay homage to that and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, go along with the museums and the, and the tourist guides and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, we are uh, moving into a larger location so we can house more. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is so exciting. Yeah, we're uh, so we're, we're really excited about that. Hopefully, we're hoping maybe 2025 or before, uh, but yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I cannot wait for that. Well, let's talk about some of the menu items. So. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, so this is one of our most salad dishes. Uh, one of my favorites as well, yes. I might add. <laughs> It's pork belly general sauce. It's a little bit of a process, uh, but you uh, we uh, fast cook it in a hot oven, the fat, fat side down to render some of the fat. Then we put it in a low oven, uh, wrap it uh, really tight so that all the juices stay inside, and slow cook it for a couple of hours uh, to really tenderize it and render a lot of a lot of fat. And then we take that out of that fat, uh, which is kind of like confited, uh, and then cool it, and then cut it into little squares and fry it. So it's like kind of like uh, chicharrone almost in a way, okay. but the fat holds up to the fry because it, it doesn't break down as well, uh, you know, okay. same way. Gotcha. And you all do switch up your menu quite a bit, yes. right? Yes, we do. We do a seasonal menu. This this dish I've gotten death threats over it. So <laughs> if I were to ever take it off the menu, they would come and uh, put you, you down. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, it must be that good. I can vouch for it. It's amazing. Well, um, do you want to go ahead and hop on over to Fando? Yeah, let's go on over.
opened uh, August 16th, uh, and uh, it was kind of just like we wanted. To, me and my wife felt extreme call, calling for like a place for kids, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just we never felt like uh, I, when we grew up in the 90s, there was a play place everywhere. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, and uh, now there's no play places. Mm -hmm. Take your kids. Uh, all the fast food places kind of pulled the, the chains on mm -hmm. that. Insurance, COVID. insurance liability, <laughs> yeah, COVID. insurance liability, yes. and stuff like that. Uh, me, so me and my wife, we were talking, you know, we were praying about it, thinking about it, and just like 1816 is amazing. We love this town, but it's just not very kid friendly. It's not very kid forward. Uh, the inspiration for us was that uh, I mean, we have a two year old that you know he <laughs> two year old, and then we got some older kids. Gotta too. love that age. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, two. They're, they're a handful sometimes, mm -hmm. and, and yes. you just need something to keep them uh, their attention for a little bit, you know. So maybe you can throw some food in your mouth, and, yes. and, then, and then wait for them to eat for a gazillion years, you know. Yeah, because uh, they just graze, throw things yeah, out. Yeah, they go graze, they graze. <laughs> or they eat really quick, and, and then they, they're back to the chaos. So, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so we really felt a calling for it. Uh, my wife, she comes from Alaska. Okay. And, Alaska, they actually have one of the most grossing uh, private pizza places in America. So they're really big about pizza, but she was never really into Italian. Which uh -huh. is kind of funny to me. Yeah. And I'm, I have an extreme love for uh, Italian and uh, saute and pastas. And I grew up, kind of grew up in the kitchen on that. Okay. So we kind of combined those ideas mm -hmm. and uh, decided to do pizza, uh, but not typically how everybody else is mm -hmm. doing it around here, that Detroit style and pan crust, yes. bring back that 90s love of like, you know, Pizza Hut kind of vibe, but yes. also, you know, play place and <laughs> just just that, that, that camaraderie we used to have back in, in the 90s when, yeah. when, before cell phones came around and yeah. stuff like that. All right, so let's talk about some of your, maybe your favorite or the people's favorite menu items so far, something that you've gotten compliments on or most asked for. Yeah, uh, the people have kind of spoke for themselves. Uh, my favorite, I would say, and it's not because of the price, I'm not trying to like, <laughs> the most expensive one, but I mean, the juicy, just because we've been making it in 1816 for years, people uh, know the green tree, though, it's just this time we're making it with chicken instead of pork. It's your, it's your meat lover's pizza, mm -hmm. so like, if you yeah. really like a lot of meat on your pizza, that's mm -hmm. that like it. But the people have spoken, and they or, and they order it more than anything, and that's that whole stuff. Supreme Pizza, uh, it's got to, I mean, I didn't know, me personally, I never actually ran a pizza place, never worked in a pizza place. Uh, this was a combination of my wife's and mine's passion for food and the, and the need for what community needs. Uh, <laughs> so it was my first time. Uh, and what people would uh, want the most, mm -hmm. uh, and a free pizza. That's awesome. Mushroom bottles on a cupboard. On sounds, a sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm a big pizza lover, so everything on the menu really looks amazing. And I love that you have a lot of unique things as well, um, and that you can kind of put your own spin on it. So. so let's talk about your all's hours. When are you open to the public? So right now, we're currently, we're open uh, Wednesday through Saturday, 2 p.m. to okay. 9 p.m. Uh, that's just for right now. We hope to open on Sunday so we can capture the gossip. After church, yeah, yes. <laughs> so this is where people order their food, correct? Yes. Okay, so how does it work? Is it kind of like you order a ticket to your table? No, we're, uh, so we're a counter service. Yeah, you order here, mm -hmm. uh, serve the cashier, we'll put the order in, and then uh, what we'll do is a uh, once the order's up, we have a food runner at Expo, okay. uh, and they'll bring it to your number. Uh, we did have a microphone system that we had set uh -huh. in place, but we ended up switching uh, for right now. But we will have been end up doing that once we actually get a game yard established. Yes. So that way we can get the people that are outside and catch their attention and stuff. So somebody's not looking, running around looking for <laughs> Yes. But for right now, we, we're using the cone method. I love uh, these. This yeah. is so cute. A little traffic cone, you know. Uh, speaking of game yard, what are some things that you guys have in coming up? Do you have any yes. plans? Are we expanding? Do we have yes. any more? We're hoping. Uh, we really wanted to open with more, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, funds and everything. But yeah. uh, as long as people come and support and buy the pizza and they 
and they and they like it and they keep coming back, then we can uh, save up funds to uh, put a custom made playground set out front that will match the custom match the wood of the historic cabin, cabin field. field. Yeah. yeah. So that way it's not uh, you know we want to keep to the '90s theme, but when I was most people had uh, very colorful plastic yes. uh, yes. play sets at their house. I'm looking for more like what you we play that in yes. uh, the parks. The big wood ones. Yeah, the yeah, big wood ones. The parks, not the church. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Might have got a splinter. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super exciting. You heard the man. If you all love your community as much as we do, then come support so that we can keep helping these business owners to expand and you can get your kids out of your hair for a little bit. <laughs>